Hi everybody! So one of my classroom rules is to turn mistakes into masterpieces and I really like to use this book to help explain why that's a rule in my classroom. This book is called Beautiful Oops. It's by Barney Salzberg and I'm going to share this book with you and maybe it will help you turn your mistakes into masterpieces as well. Beautiful Oops. Oops, a torn piece of paper. It's just the beginning. Look, he can talk and he can eat and do all kinds of things now. Every spill has lots and lots of possibilities. Bent paper, uh-oh, is something to celebrate. A little drip of paint lets your imagination run wild. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. <laughs> That's funny. A stain, uh-oh, has potential. If you play with its shape, look at that shape. Holes in your paper. Are worth exploring. See what's in there, see? When you think you've made a mistake, oops, think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. The end. Okay guys, so we just read the book Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. And I like to read this book because it reminds me of my last classroom rule, and that is to turn mistakes into masterpieces. Now, in order to practice turning a mistake into a masterpiece, we're going to do this thing I like to call scribble art. Now, I'd like to do this project every year at the beginning of the year. So if you've done this before, it's okay. It's nice to do the same thing more than once. So we're going to stretch our imagination. And I want you to get a piece of just plain white computer paper. It should be pretty flimsy. I don't want to have any card stock or anything thick. It should be nice thin paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to first start by drawing with your eyes closed. So you're going to get your paper, kind of realize how much room you're going to have so you're not going off the paper too much. Use a pencil so that we're not drawing on tabletops with markers or anything. And with your pencil, and your eyes closed, you're going to start to draw a scribble. Now you wanna reach all the edges, whoops, you could tell my eyes are closed for real. All the edges of the paper. Try to think about pointy lines, try to think about curved lines. And when you think you've reached your potential for your scribble, you can open your eyes and see what you see. Now the fun part about scribble art I think, isn't this part. It's not the scribble. It's the trying to discover what you can see in your scribble. So we're going to look at the scribble and we're going to try to find objects 
that might seem familiar to us. So I'm gonna look this direction and nothing's really popping out to me right now. So now I'm gonna turn it this way and see what I see. Hmm, I kind of see something going on right here. You might see something in my drawing too. And we can turn it this direction and see if we see anything that might look familiar. And I, I see something, I see something really neat actually. So once you see the thing you see, you're gonna kind of try to trace it with your finger. And I, even if I trace this, I don't know if you guys are gonna see what I see, but I see something right in this area right here. Now, the thing you see, it might not be an exact replica of what you see. Like, I'll tell you, what I see, guys, is a hummingbird. Hummingbirds have these little bodies. So this is the hummingbird's body. Now, when you see that thing, that object, you're going to take your pencil and you're gonna trace around it kind of in a sketchy way like this. Darken up the lines around the thing. So that's my hummingbird's body. Do you see its beak? Or yeah, its beak coming out like this. It's a really long pointy thing. Oh man, look at that. And then my hummingbird, see this shape, this triangle shape? I'm just gonna draw a circle in there. That's my hummingbird's eye and then my hummingbird has a wing right here. You see that wing right there. So, and I, you know what? I actually probably have a, another wing over here too, come to think of it. So there is my hummingbird. And I could probably add a little tail here. So once you see something, it's really funny how more things seem to pop out at you. So take a look at your scribble and see what you can see. Try to find stuff. Um, now guys, this does not look like a perfect hummingbird, right? This is more of an abstract hummingbird. And so I'm gonna show you some other things that I found. Um, earlier today, I did this one. I found another bird. This is more like a chicken. So whole scribble. And I found this guy hiding in there. Um, here is another one. And this scribble, I, I had a hard time with this one, but it's this is like a dipper. It's like a scoop or something. In this scribble, I found a shark's fin with a wave behind it. And in this picture, I found a butterfly. So take a look at your scribble. Once you get it all on your paper, covered, covering your paper, and I want you to see what you see. I found another kind of butterfly type shape in this one. So let's see what you see. And what I want you guys to do today is um, practice turning your mistakes into masterpieces, turning those mistakes into something that look really interesting and cool, just like the book talked about. And I want you to save your picture. So do your scribble. And then I want you to save it. So you probably have an art folder. I want you to put everything inside your art folder and keep it for next week. All right? Okay, guys, I'll see you back here next week.